So the question, I can repeat this for the, is, uh, is about a lot of situations where there aren't witnesses, where it's not somebody who can really relate or accurately uh, relate. And, and so it becomes very much he said, she said, or even there's like nobody to say. Um, and, and that unfortunately is a, because there has to be evidence uh, to carry on, unfortunately. What I say though, and this again is not related to the decision trees, is that's why it's so important for people to have visitors, to, to have people um, in the home to have, you know, so that the people are not in isolation, you know, and uh, that's why it's also great that, that you are all here and obviously interested, and why there's unfortunately such a need for advocacy groups and, and support, but yay, you know, so and totally, totally appreciate and understand what you're saying. Um, okay, and so uh, in that case, though, if the force used uh, excessive in the circumstances was not, um, it was not excessive, it was appropriate, then uh, again the licensee is expected to have a look at that because what was the perception? Is it perhaps that the person is very sensitive to touch? Um, is there a different way of managing that task that although technically it, it was right and not excessive, is there another way to do that that's more comfortable for the resident? So uh, you know obviously uh, the perception of there's somebody's perception that, um, that there was force. And so let's look at that situation, even though in the end maybe it wasn't. Um, okay, but if the answer to either of these, it, it was the use of force appropriate to provision of care assisting a resident with ADLs, person who's totally independent, taking themselves to the washroom and such, and, uh, and uh, something happens in there with the staff, then obviously that's not a, that was not something that was needed with that task and that would immediately need to be reported by the after hours pager if necessary, uh, if it was after hours. Um, if the answer is yes, it was, it was part of that task, but it was excessive force. And this is where that no, by the way, was, it, was the use of force appropriate to that kind of care? The answer is no, takes them down the more serious path. So again, about that doesn't have to be a definite yes or no here, but you err on the side of the no that takes you down the serious path and report it anyway. Was the force used excessive? Yes, it was, immediately report. So that's the physical part about physical force. Let's look, and this is pretty a lot more straightforward, about the drug administered or withheld. I'm the, the and I kind of, the examples that come to mind, I always go to this medication situation um, because it's about medication, but it's about the medication nurse, um, which is not to say that medication nurses are, are all like this. But um, you have the med if you have the medication, the nurse who comes on uh, and says, uh, Joe, you've been at my elbow for every five minutes all day long. I'm tired. I can't get of, my, of you being here. I can't get my work done. I am going to, this evening, make sure that you don't get your bedtime sedation because you're going to not have a restful night because I haven't had a restful day with you. Is that physical abuse? You betcha. You betcha. Okay, so that would be administered or withheld for an inappropriate purpose. And the other examples I gave you were kind of... Uh, over, over medication or, or inappropriate timing of medication and such. So on that, I mean, there's no, you know, there are no other criteria to that, then it's immediately report, okay? So that's the physical abuse one, which is a little complex to go through. So I took a little extra time on that. I hope that was okay. Um, oh, by the way, sorry, okay, question. Right, and as I said before, call uh, a licensee if they have any thought that way, call because then it's in the police hands and they will do whatever they decide to do. If you, as a family, and if you're speaking as a as a family member or an advocate, you call the police if you think there's a need to call the police. Um, the there is also that part on the in under mandatory reporting about if there's a belief that unlawful conduct 
has occurred, and that's kind of, is that the, the reporting of abuse neglect is part of mandatory reporting, but there are other things to be reported that are mandatory. And one of them is if they think there's unlawful conduct, and so if the home thinks there's unlawful conduct, then they should be calling the police and they should be notifying the ministry too. But you, as a, say as a family member or an advocate for somebody, if you feel that it's unlawful conduct, then call the police because that's under the mandatory reporting which is any person it's not restricted to the licensee it's any person who who believes that